My name is Zipozi Siwa, the presiding bishop of the Methodist Church of Southern Africa. Yes, we are in full support of the Israel Apartheid Week campaign and so that people can get informed because people don't know uh, really. So we fully support that and our conference last year did endorse uh, BDS and, and are in support of that. Have you been to Palestine? Yes, I have been. It was very traumatizing to see the type of uh, restrictions uh, and, land, and, and, and land invasions where the land has been taken away from the people, the settlements, and how the people go through those gates when they leave Palestine to go to the other side of, uh, of, of Israel. It's, it's, it's very sad. Uh, um, so, in saying that, do you consider that Israel policies are similar to what us black South Africans experience under apartheid? Actually, yes, and even more, because uh, I think they are very brutal in the way they do it, and at the end of the day you ask, where will you want the Palestinians to live? Because uh, that is their land as well, so it is a scandal. Really, it is even so a scandal that uh, uh, the land that is home to the major religions of the world uh, cannot resolve uh, the conflict and live in that way. I think the, the major states should be called upon to really uh, push for, for the Israelis and the Palestinians to sit down and come to a resolution of the, of the conflict. Uh, Bishop Siwa, we received a, a video clip on YouTube today of um, uh, Reverend uh, Kenneth Mishwe, whereby we are saying that all those who are saying that the apartheid state of South Africa is, sim uh, uh, is similar to that of Israel are misinformed and in that they are insulting the history and the memories of apartheid. What is your take on that? Unfortunately, I've not seen the clip, but if that is so, I think he is misinformed and, uh, and uh, definitely he is not speaking on behalf of the black South Africans who have experienced apartheid here and those who have been able to go to Palestine and Israel. And the tragedy is that most of the people who are touring Israel are shielded from seeing the reality. So I think uh, you should be taken to Palestine himself to experience it.